What's up YouTube, Rams Country, this is Alex, this is the 24th, finally bringing this Ram Draft video for you guys, been talking about this for a couple of weeks already, uh, I've been stressed out with school, uh, I've said that in my beginning of my videos these last couple of um, times, I had this essay due for, on Tuesday for my English class, I'm taking English very seriously, you guys should know that, and now I have this, on Monday I have this speech um, presentation for my speech 1A class, so that should be fun, it's hot. And I'm in the damn war room with Jeff and Les with all these names and research that I'm doing. My mock draft, I've been stressed out with that for the last couple of days because that's the, the one thing I hadn't done with my mock draft. I've done the research, but plugging in players, knowing where they're going to go, where they best fit was another thing. So what I want to do for this video is I'm going to keep it straight on the first round. That's what I'm going to do. My outline is going to be prospect for the Rams. What we really need players that would really fit us and my mock draft and then trades I really want to stress on the mock draft only because that's where I'm gonna have most of my talk for the Rams not because I don't have enough talk about for the Rams and and just what they need but I want to talk about other on the other NFL teams I want to give my my two cents on, on what they should take so let's have some few minutes on the Rams <clears throat> so some prospects that we have to be looking at for the Rams is on Mark Cooper Kevin White, Brandon Sharif, Devontae Parker, Marcus Peterson, Trey Wayne's probably the two best cornerbacks out of this in this draft coming in. Of course, Amari Cooper and Kevin White, one of the two um, two best corner and um, wide receivers coming into this to the draft. Sorry if I'm messing up some names. It's I have so many names to look at. So much is all on my mind right now. I'm trying to stay calm and have some patience with me. <laughs> so with that, Lil Collins, Land Landon Collins out of Alabama. TJ Clemens, DJ Humphreys, Cameron Irving out of Florida State. Big name I really want to talk about in this mock. Eric Kendricks out of UCLA, of course. I've said Devontae. Malcolm Brown and Eddie Goldman have to be in this. Because I don't we don't know how long Nick Fairley and Michael Brockers are gonna be with us. So you gotta keep those names in mind. Nelson Aguilar, Philip Dorsett, Darrell Green Beckhams, Jen Strong are all the names of receivers that we have to keep in mind as well. Eric Flowers, probably the top rated off the tackle in this draft for the Rams. Um, now, I'm not saying running backs. No, nope, no running backs. Nope, nope. <sighs> you, I got to include the outside linebackers. I got to include Vic Beasley, Dante Fowler, um, Randy Gregory, Shane Ray, and Bud Dupree. You have to include them because that's another need for the Rams, even though we have a key mares. With Alongside with Marcus Peters and Trey Waynes, is Kevin Johnson. So, but I don't think we really draft Kevin Johnson. It's just, I mean, I'm saying these are players that we have to keep in mind. Whew. And then Jalen Collins, of course. So those are some prospects, some draft prospects in this first round that we have to look out for. Maybe we trade up, maybe we trade down. And I'm not saying we're going to draft these guys. I'm just saying keep an eye out. So players that we have to look out for. Brandon Sharif is the one. Our offensive line is hideous. Okay, we know we have on that left side with Greg Robinson and Roger Saffold. Tim Barnes is at center. Hopefully, we fill that void with Cameron Irving. I really hope so in this draft. Maybe in that late in that, late in that first round, um, it's 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 a tough thing. It's, I, don't, I don't know if he makes it out in that late. I don't know if he makes it out at the late first round, and then I know he's gone at the beginning of the second round. So it's hard. I really believe we have to trade into that first round. Get time to my mock draft. And that right side is hideous. With that right side, I believe we get Joe Bark still back. There's mixed conversations on we getting him back. Um, so if we get him back on that right side, that right tackle, we have Brandon Sharif in that right guard. And that center is Cameron Irving. Our offensive line is back to being well, not great, but very young and finally can protect Nick Foles. Might not be the best offensive line, but it should be able to hold. Joe Barksdale can hold that right side. So that's one name is Brandon Sharif that we should all have realistically probably draft him. Matthias him, Devontae Parker, we need receivers, along with Kevin White and Amari Cooper. Trey Waynes, Marcus Peters, I only say that because Janora Jenkins, Tremaine Johnson might not be here next year. Um, um, we might not have the money to pay Janoris with his jumping ass and... I don't really see us paying him that money, so why not take a Marcus Peters or Trey Waynes? These are players that we can take at 10 without trading up and trading down. 
um, and having a big heart because I might some of these might be a reach. Um, those are some players that we can take at ten. Our team needs right now is offensive line and receiver. Even though we have Stedman, we have Kenny, we have Tavon, and we have and Brian Quick, I still believe we need a receiver to be that number one receiver. We don't have a number one receiver. We have receivers that can play a role, but we don't have the number one. We, we need that number one, but I think we should address the offensive line first. I'm saying this, and it's not matching up with my mock draft. And I'll, and I'll say why as soon as I get to that. Ugh. So those are some players that I really think would be a great fit for the Rams. That would be Brian Sharif, of course. Devontae Parker. Trey Waynes, Marcus Peters. Of course, Amari Cooper and Kevin White. Um, Cameron Irving is a huge one. And then, of course, everybody in that top 10 would be a great fit for the Rams. Now, I really want... Who's that? Aren't you okay, guys, stay out of that. Now, to get into, right into my mock draft, because that's where my most of my Ram talk is going to be, and knowing why we get the player that we get, it just makes more sense, you get me? So, with the first overall pick, Tampa Bay selects Marcus, I'm just kidding, Jameis Winston, it's kind of obvious, so Tampa Bay takes Jameis Winston, also, no on the side, for some of these picks, I just have to shorten it down. Not so much explanation for these picks. I Believe me, if you want to know why they, they draft them, ask me in the comments and let me know, hey, why did they draft this? Why, did they, why, why do you think they draft that? Ask me and I'll give you a full explanation on why they should. But I'm trying to have a brief, make this video not so long. You get me? So, excuse me. Sheesh. So, Jameis goes to Tampa Bay. Tennessee, I don't believe Tennessee trades out of that pick. I don't believe they find something that they really like. Um, a lot of these experiences are from, of course, the Washington and St. Louis trades a couple years ago. I believe they stay there. Ray Horton gets the guy that, that um, stresses out defense. They get Leonard Williams, the safest pick, probably the best defensive player in this draft. That can be a debate with Dante and Vic. But I think they get Leonard Williams, their safest pick, and add some attitude on that defensive side. Jacksonville takes Dante Fowler, probably one of the best outside linebackers in this draft. Oakland takes Amari Cooper, probably a locked-in pick. Give Derek Carr, your franchise quarterback, another weapon to work with. You got Michael Crabtree. You brought it, and you still have Rod Streeter. Give them Amari Cooper, an NFL-ready receiver. Now, what separates him from Kevin White? We ha I have to explain this. Is the years that they stayed that they that they had in college. Now, what 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 does that mean? Kevin White started off in a small school, then transferred out to to West Virginia. Didn't do so well in his first year. Now, he, he had that one year last year where he, he sh not shocked the world, but that's when he showed his numbers. That's where his numbers really exploded. Um, I don't want to say he's a one-hit wonder, but the safest pick would be a Mark Cooper where he did it in Alabama year after year when he was there. So, take the safest pick with a Mark Cooper. <clears throat> Washington. My bold prediction is Washington trades down what they want to do um, they've already said that they want to trade down and get some picks because they lost all their picks with us. So they trade out. They trade with Philadelphia. I believe that Marcus Mariota goes to Phil I believe Marcus Mariota goes to Philadelphia. Of course, he reunites with Chip Kelly and the Philadelphia Ducks. So Marcus goes to Philly with that fifth pick. Um, shocking, right? Go ahead and ask me in the comments why this happens. Um, I just brief, just brief explanations why. Not, I'm not trying to, I'm not saying, see, I'm not into another topic. I'm not, I'm not keeping this very brief because I don't have much to say, but just trying to keep my, the time limit um, very short. So Marcus goes to Philly. Vic Beasley goes to New York, the New York Jets. Danny Shelton goes to Chicago. Why? Set, um, a couple years ago, the Bears ran that, the NFC North, with their defense. Why don't you get back to that defense and, and add some talent on that side? Add Danny Shelton. Why not add Kevin White? If Brandon Marshall couldn't couldn't do it, how is um why would Kevin how is Kevin White gonna be the answer? Jay Cutler needs a lot of help, and I don't think that help's gonna come on that offensive side. I believe it's gonna come on that defensive side. A couple years ago, they showed that 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 defense carried that offense. So I believe Chicago takes Danny Shelton. Atlanta takes Bud Dupree. Some raw talent right there. Might not not might be the best pick out right off the gate. 
But in coming years, he will be someone in this league. He's gonna be a, I believe he's gonna be a pro bowler in this league in coming years. And that takes Bud Dupree. The New York Giants finally protect Eli Manning. They get Brandon Sharif. That'll be my, that'll be the pick that I really believe. So they finally protect Eli Manning. St. Louis, who is left? Kevin White's left. I believe Kevin White drops down to the 10th pick. From the picks from Chicago and New York, they don't take Kevin White. They pass on him. St. Louis takes Kevin White. Like I said, maybe not NFL ready because it's going to take some years. But he has the size. He can go up and get it. He's going to be that receiver for us. We Not real nice because he, he barely knew. Real nice with Stedman, you can say. But um, you have those connections with the West Virginia now. The West Virginia brothers. So we get Kevin White, a receiver that we have all liked as Ram fans. We have seen Kevin, the Kevin White to St. Louis. So we get Kevin White. Now, so that's a small explanation on why we get Kevin White is because of Chicago and of New York. The only reason because of New York is because they took our offensive lineman. We take the rec best receiver out of on the draft, and that's Kevin White. So out of that, I would have left it at that, but I'm going to talk about my mock draft. So at, with Miami at the 11th pick, why do I say Miami? Because I believe Minnesota trades down, gets more picks. The owner and general manager have already said they want to get 10 picks at least in this draft and future coming drafts. So they trade out of that pick. Miami gets that 11th pick. And Miami breaks the hearts of Cleveland Brown fans. They take Devontae Parker as someone alongside Jav Javaris Landry and another weapon for Ryan Tannehill, which he needs more weapons. We saw Mike Wallace couldn't do it. Devontae Parker comes in, Jarvis Landry's there. Most people say take a running back because they need a running game. But Devon, I think Ryan Tannehill needs another weapon. Devontae Parker's that guy. Minnesota and Miami are both happy. Cleveland might not be happy there at 12. But I believe they still take a player that they really like and they were going to take. is Malcolm Brown out of Texas. New Orleans takes Shane Ray. That's how far I think Shane Ray drops. There's too much talent to leave on that board too long. Minnesota takes Trey Waynes. San Francisco takes Eric Armstead. Texans take Nelson Aguilar out of USC. Um, I believe he's going to be a very good player. Six foot, but he plays like he's 6'3". He goes up and gets it. He might not be a big receiver. Um, he has, I, think, I believe he has to add a little bit more weight, but he can go up and get it. He can. Nelson Aguilar goes at 16. San Diego takes Todd Gurley. They need a running back because they have lost Ryan Matthews. Kansas City takes Eric Flowers, protects that um, Alex Smith. They have had talks on moving around Eric Fisher and then maybe getting um, Eric Flowers. Cleveland, 19. They didn't get the receiver that they wanted. Why not add another an, another piece to that offense that you haven't had in years? Besides Trent Richardson, take Melvin Gordon. Add a running into that team. Melvin Gordon goes to Cleveland. Get, take some pressure off of, off of Johnny Manziel if he's the quarterback. Or if, if not, if he is, take some pressure off of that team. And like I said, bring in a new era. Bring in a new, bring in a new, bring in a new scheme to Cleveland. Bring in that running game. Bring in Melvin Gordon. Washington takes Lel Collins. Like I said, they still get the player that they wanted. Protect RG three if he's still there. Cincinnati takes the man out of Alabama, Landon Collins. They need some help in that secondary. Pittsburgh takes Marcus Peters after losing Ike Taylor and Troy Polamalu. I believe he drops that far only the only because of his problems at school. Got kicked off the team. I believe the Steelers strain his ass out, and they take Marcus Peters. They get the guy that won. I believe that's a little locked pick. Detroit takes Eddie Goldman. Why? Of course, not a not a McConk, not a not a not, not Sue, and Nick Fairley are now gone. You need a defensive tackle. Florida State. Detroit. Oh, already said that. Arizona takes Randy Gregory and other off the field issues. Um, they add on that defensive side. Carolina takes Andrews Pete. To protect Cam Newton, they had trouble protecting Cam Newton last year. A lot of trouble. So they take Andres P. out of Stanford. Philip Dorsett goes to Baltimore. Now, they need some help on that receiving core because they only have um, Steve, they have Steve Smith. Now, they need help. They lost Troy. Um, I already forgot his name. Other receivers. Speed at number 82. They need some help. Philip Dorsett, very, very fast. Related to... Related. Was... Compared to Mike Wallace, I had him first. At first, I had him taking Melvin Gordon, but I believe Browns take him first, and the Baltimore Ravens select Philip Dorsey out of Miami. 
Dallas, I'm gonna I'm stay with Dallas, okay? Uh, I'm gonna take their word. I'm gonna take the staff's word on they don't need a running back. They're not gonna stress on running back. So I believe they take Kevin Johnson, a cornerback. Um, this is where it gets crazy. Like I said, I believe that we have to trade the Rams, have to trade back into the first round to take Cameron Irving. That's exactly what we do. We trade back into the first round. We trade with Denver with that 28th pick. We take Cameron Irving for that center position. And yeah, we take Cameron Irving. Why not get that the, the most, I believe, the most versatile player in this uh, in the offensive line draft? He can play center, can play off, um, offensive guard, and he can play tackle. We can we can plug him in where we want. We can even, we, if we get Joe Boxer back, have Joe Boxer on that right side. Um, even right guard, put Cameron Irving on that right guard, and then even have Tim Barnes. Because between Tim Barnes and Garrett Reynolds, um, you, you tell me who you rather have. <laughs> so, have Cameron Irving get the player that we want, because I believe, even though he wouldn't have been the first round, I strongly believe that we would get him in that second round, Cameron Irving. So at 28, another trade, bold prediction that I have is we trade back into that first round, get Cameron Irving. And then after that, 29 gets DJ Humphreys protecting Andrew Luck. That's another problem that they have had protecting Andrew Luck. Green Bay takes the man that they want. All Green Bay fans want Eric Hendricks out of UCLA. Who doesn't want to play out of UCLA? New Orleans takes Jalen Strong and put him alongside Marquise Colston. New York, New York, New England takes Jalen Collins out of LSU. That's a lot of question marks on Jalen Collins because having I mean, to be compared with Patrick Peterson. Um, maybe not the best cornerback, but they need cornerback after losing Darrell Revis and Brandon Browner. They need some help on that side. So that is my mock draft. If you have any questions on my mock draft, feel free to ask me. I will not take anything to offense. I have so many explanations on why the players go there. Believe me, I have a huge explanation on why I, they go there, on why Devontae goes there. Any player, if you have a question on where they go, feel free to ask me. I will give you a full explanation. It's just it's the video time length is what I'm trying to keep in mind. So that's my video for, for, the mock, for my mock draft and the Rams draft. Feel, like I said, feel free to ask me. Like, comment, subscribe. Shout out to all the Rams fans in the, in the world. I say that because well, <laughs> all the Ram fans, all 13 of us. No, just kidding. And shout out to Mr. Raider Kid. I'm going to be with him I'm out, and some friends um, tomorrow at Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm going to bring a recap. Hopefully, I bring a, a live uh, reaction for the draft. Um, if I have the balls to do it, I'm not, I won't really, I probably, I, I, would li I would like to do it. I'll probably bring a live reaction. But that's my take on the NFL draft for the Rams and the NFL and other teams. Like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. So, that's my time. Like I, like I just said, I um, hope you guys have a great day. Stay out of this damn heat. This is probably like my 10th video. I, I like this video. Yeah. So, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm Agassiz24. I am out. I'll see you guys tomorrow after the draft. Have a good day. Rams up.